all right? First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful they got there pushing this word and truth and then sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful they double believers and listeners. Who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shimao Shai? And what I want to get into today, you know, is dealing with how, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he saved us, you know, from us. You know, as we always, you know, touch in, touch on Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai did so much, you know, his life, okay, his sacrifice, you know, when he came, all right, to be, you know, the uh, sacrifice without blemish. You know, that did so much for us as a people, beginning with the elect. You know, and when you really go into it, Yahweh Shah saved us from us. Okay, because we was pretty much a slave to sin. All right, but through Yahweh Shah, okay, who conquered sin in the flesh, you know, he created a grace period. All right, and in that grace period, the Lord, you know, appointed a time to where, you know, he would endow the Holy Spirit on the believers and give us a spirit of obedience you know because now you have a generation of israelites that thirst for righteousness man they want to see the earth ran in righteousness man and we understand you know we was off <laughs> okay we accept you know we began to accept uh, that accountability of us being off man and we're starting to understand you know the righteousness of the law Okay, we, we starting to understand the Lord's intent, you know, with the law. Okay, the law, you know, is not to beat people over the head with or, you know, to boast in the law to make it seem as if, you know, we have some type of righteousness of ourselves. Nah, man. Okay, the law, all right, was meant to run the earth in righteousness. Okay, and what we're fighting, all right, to get back to is the glory of ruling the earth okay and that's going to be through faith that's why i said he that overcome to him would i give power over the nation which is rulership okay and which a hey, we're going to fully understand the lord's intentions you know with these laws man and we're starting to understand them now okay but within this grace period you know we're able to be in the spirit you know which is making us blameless all right uh because of the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. All right, and I'm gonna read this in Romans eight, eight. And I'm gonna read it in NLT because it, it explains it, you know, a little plainer. And um, it just goes into the the, the importance of Yahweh Shai, man. We can never talk about it, you know, enough. All right, Romans eight and one. It says, so now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, and we read this in the KJV. It says. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shai, all right, Hamashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And within this grace period, you know, the Lord, the main objective in this grace period, all right, well, was, was for us not to be dominated by the flesh. Okay, of course, we're in the flesh and we're going to have moments, but we shouldn't be dominated by the flesh. And when you're in the spirit, and see, when you hear brothers speaking about it in the spirit, well, when you're in the spirit, you on, we, that means we're on our purpose, okay? And we're going to expound on it, you see? But as we tap more into our purpose, okay, what's expected of us as the sons of God, what's expected of us, all right, what's expected of the daughters of Zion, you know, the women, and we go into these things, man, you know, because through this ministry, there's a standard being established amongst the believers. Okay? And when we're in our purpose, obedient to our purpose, that means we're walking in the spirit. Okay? So when you keep reading, um, verse 2, it says, And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from uh, from the power of sin that leads to death. Yeah, because, you know, of course, like now, we have um, mixed fabric. You know, right now, I got on mixed fabric. Okay? You know, I was out and about today moving around. I don't know what woman, you know, was on they, 
that was on their um, monthly that I was around. Okay, but those things that I can't control. But I can control, all right, not bearing false witness. Okay? I can control, all right, uh, uh, adultery. Okay, sex on the Sabbath. Those things I can control. All right? And I'm able to do this work and edify according to the spirit, the portion of the spirit that was given up to me. Okay? So there's obedience that I can fulfill on a daily basis, and that keeps me in the spirit. So sin is not ruling over me. Okay? Because you look in this society, sin is very accessible. Sin is very convenient. Adultery is very convenient. Okay? Uh, 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 you know, scamming and, you know, getting over is very convenient in this society, man. Okay? Ple pleasure, you know, abominable fools. All these things are extremely convenient in this society. But when you're in the spirit, okay, you're not dominated by those things. And it was the standard that Yahweh Shah set, okay, that allowed us, you know, to have this grace period to where we can be in the spirit, where we can really start to operate according to the intent of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Okay, matter of fact, let's get that in Romans 12. Okay, Romans 12. All right, and uh, two, I started and I'm gonna read this in NLT Romans 12 and 2. It says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, this age. Okay, and walking in Yahweh Shah separates us from this world by default. That's why we, we don't have to do anything extra, just you know, be disrespectful to you know, people or you know, our family, or you know, just go out our way to avoid them because being in the spirit. You know, keeps us occupied to where hey, it naturally separates us from this world. Okay, we begin to disagree with them with the customs that we used to be indulged in, the behavior, the the the, the rioting, as they say. You know, they think it's strange that we don't go to the same rioting. Okay, which is that you know that party that that Bacchus spirit. Okay, you know they think it's strange because. We're, we we begin to despise the behavior and the customs of this world as we continue to be what engulfed in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. Because Yahweh Shah wants to bring a righteous what well, he's going to bring, okay? You know, you know, he he's going to bring a righteous kingdom to the earth, man. You know, and we're being aligned with the behavior that's susceptible, the mindset that's susceptible for the kingdom Yahweh Shah is coming with, man. Okay, I said, don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let the Most High transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Okay, we're not going to be perfect in the law, but now the way we think. Okay, what well, we thought marriage was, was off. Okay, what well, we thought a uh, husband and wife were, were off. Okay, what well, we thought, you know, was, was prosperity was off. Okay, now we're beginning to think different. We ain't going to be perfect in the law, but now we're, our thinking is aligning, okay, with the righteousness of the scriptures. Because when we're changed, if we make it, if we endure through faith, all right, these trials, the law is going to be within us. And it's going it, it, we're going to keep the law perfectly eternally. Okay, we got plenty of time to keep the law perfect. Okay. But what should be changing is our mindset as men, understanding what being the head of a house is, understanding what being the judge, okay, in Israel is, man, okay, in righteousness, man, <laughs> understanding the responsibility that we have as the sons of God, okay, and and, and what Yahweh Shah did, he put the elect on, on the track. All right, he put the, the Yahweh Shah set the elect up for a victory, man, and he did it over two thousand years ago. Okay, and we forever grateful. All right, and it says, "Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let the Most High transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you." which is good and pleasing and perfect. So as we begin to understand the Lord's will, okay, you know, within our life, okay, then we begin to 
move and operate in the spirit more. Like we, like uh, the Apostle Paul said, let's get there real quick. Um, this is 1 Corinthians 9. First Corinthians nine, and um, I get to the point twenty six. It says, "I therefore so run, okay, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air." So we know this is a fight of faith, okay, and we are not doing things just to be doing things. Cause see, we was in the world, we was doing things just to be doing things, okay. When you have no long term thinking, when you have, you know, we 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 we, didn't, we wasn't thinking about, okay, um, we we wasn't thinking about the ripple effect of our actions, man. We a lot of us were just moving in the moment, okay. That's why the Apostle Paul was like, look, I'm not just here beating the air, you know, just swinging, you know. He's comparing it to a boxing match, you know, when you box, you know, you don't just waste punches. Okay, you won't make every punch count. <laughs> okay, you won't make everything count. Like you're doing things with a purpose. Okay, so now as we operating in the spirit, we're moving with a purpose. All right, as the sons of God, we're really serving the Lord by edifying His elect. You know, if you're a woman and you're married, okay, especially if you're married to a man of the Lord, but either you're married in general. And you're doing your duties as a wife to your husband, all right. You're you're um establishing a righteous. You're helping establish a righteous standard, okay, by playing your part in your household, man. Okay, so everybody is moving with intent and with purpose, cause it's all about establishing righteousness in the earth eternally, man. And we're taking steps toward that way by moving in the spirit, by moving in the spirit of uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay, which is in righteousness, which is sincerity and humility, man. That's another thing, man. Humility is a, is, a, is, is a dynamic of moving in the spirit, man. Understanding that we can be wrong. We're not above correction. Okay, not thinking ourselves for more than what we are, man. But really, you know, having an element of humility, man. Okay, so let's go back to Romans 8. All right, 8 and 3 says... um. Yeah, Romans 8 and 3 said the law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. Yeah, because through that law, in this flesh, we would never get back to glory. Okay, because it's this flesh, you know, is prone to sin. It's prone, all right, to, to, to have weak moments. And if you offend in one thing, you offend in the whole law. So it, it would be impossible in this flesh, okay, because it wasn't that the law was uh was off it was this flesh that was off man so, okay so that's why within this grace period it's about operating in the spirit and, and dominating the flesh man okay it says so the most i did what the law could not do he sent his own son in a body like the bodies we sinners have and in their body the most i declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. So our belief and our faith in Yahweh, you know, it puts us, it, it really uh, uh, provokes us, all right, to thirst for righteousness, man. You know, like we want to be pleasing to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai as much as possible, man. <laughs> okay? Understanding, all right, that Yahweh Shai sacrificed himself. Okay, for us to have a grace period, you see, and what Yahweh Shah did, you know, he, he conquered sin in the flesh, and that's what appeased the Most High. Okay, which that, you know, created a, um, a peace between the Most High, all right, and Israel, the elect of Israel, with Yahweh Shah being their mediator, man. So that's why even when we do fall, we still can go to Yahweh Shah and pray, you know. Because all the prayers go through you, how was shot then to the Father. Okay? You know, the angels take the prayers, you know, to, to, to Yahweh Shah, and then Yahweh Shah, you know, he filters it to the Father. Okay? On the behalf of the elect. 
he says he did this so that the just requirement of the law will be fully satisfied for us who no longer follow our sinful nature but instead follow the spirit so now we follow the spirit okay as an Israelite man, like I, I, every day we wake up with the mindset of serving, edifying, you know, uh, 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 separating from this world, detaching, cutting things off, man, being in the spirit, okay, making sure we on point as, as, as being a brother, okay, even in our day to day, you know, uh, 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 even when we're amongst, you know, even non believers, we're still walking in the spirit to where, hey, we're not. We're not harmful to people, okay? We we we, we all right are not out here scheming and, and and taking and getting over and we don't even have that mindset, man. Okay, that's because we're we're walking in the spirit, even those that are without. You know, we we don't uh uh, uh even the Edomite uh man, we're not uh, uh uh scheming on his woman, okay? Like even like I say, in our day to day. People don't have to worry about us doing any type of wrong to them. Okay? We avoid, and then even confrontation, we try our best to avoid it at all costs, man. We, you know, moving in the spirit. We'll take the low in, you know, certain situations, of, you know, applying wisdom, foreseeing situation, and, and removing ourselves. <laughs> okay? Hey, walking in the spirit. You see? You have women that, that, that you know, that, that's tapping into serving their husband, man. You know, in humility. You see, tapping into what a wife is, what a woman is, man. That's being in the spirit. Okay? <laughs> you see, it says, verse 5 says, Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about Things that please the spirit, man. Okay? Brothers, it's fasting more, getting on different diets, man. Just tapping in. Praying more, tapping into the Hebrew more, you know. Brothers are serious about their health, man, so they can be more active in the ministry. Like, when, when just like a, a, a virtuous woman in Proverbs 31, she was occupied in serving her family, man. Serving her, her husband and uh, her children. Okay? She was occupied in that. And, 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 and that's us in the spirit as men. Of Yahweh Shah, we're occupied in serving our Lord. Okay? And it's, and it's a trickle-down effect. Verse 6 says, So letting your sinful nature control you, control your mind leads to death. But letting the spirit control your mind leads to life and peace, man. And this is what we're seeing happening, you know, as you know, we start to, this becomes us, you know, because the more we walk in the spirit, hey, it becomes second nature, you know, and you see the peace, okay, that it begins to create. Of course, we're always going to have vexation because we're here in Babylon, okay, Babylon, the great wicked. All right, the great land of wickedness, man. So it's a natural vexation that comes with it. But walking in the spirit, you know, uh, breeds peace. And, you know, we start to see the peace that it breeds. We see the results of being in the spirit. You know, hey, it makes us want to be in the spirit more. You know, so that's the point. You know, just wanted to go into it because, you know, hey, how was shy? You know, he saved us, you know, from us, man. You know, being dominated by that sinful nature. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that real quick in uh, Psalm 73. Let's get that in Psalm 73. Um, you know, because hey, we was all operating in, in, in low nature, you know, before we came into this ministry, man. Okay? But well, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, that's, that's, that's what started putting us. That's why Yahweh Shai said, think of things that's on high. Okay, this is um, Psalm 73, and I started at 22. It says, so foolish was I and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Because before we start operating in the spirit, we really had a beast-like nature, man. Okay, 
you know, going to the club, you know, just a bunch of randomness, you know, one night stands, and, you know, just randomness, man, all over the place, man, you know, drugs and getting drunk and, you know, just a bunch of randomness, man, okay, trying to fit one of these, you know, degenerate archetypes that Esau, you know, constantly shoved down our throats, man. Okay, it was, it was like we was we was a beast. <laughs> okay, and it says, nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Yeah, so now we're continually with Yahweh by Shema Shah in the spirit. We begin to dwell in this thing, man. You know, we really get, begin to dwell within this word, man. You know, and it says, and he he he's guiding us, man. Okay, is it going to go into? He said, Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Okay, so we're being guided by the counsel because a hey, how shall the volume of the book? Okay, and the Lord has raised up men, leaders, okay, to interpret the understanding of this book, and we're being guided by this wise counsel back into glory, man. Okay. So, hey, Yahweh Shai is worthy to be praised, man. You know, because hey, he 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 took that, he took the punishment, you know, and he and he applied that discipline throughout his walk, okay? So we have a fighting chance at this thing, man, with a grace period, man, to operate in the spirit, okay? And to showcase faith, <laughs> all right? And in the time of, of trying, you see? So, Lord will you, brothers, all right, and you sisters edified. Till next time, I say shalom.